بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الله حبت في الله اللهم اني اعوذ بك ان اشرك بك وانا على مستغفرك لما اعلم احبت في الله او youth of islam do not be fooled by the propaganda surrounding isis the propaganda of the various media outlets from the east and the west that usually you'll find that the truth is somewhere in between and likewise ahabat fillah do not be fooled by their propaganda as i've seen people posting and people have sent information all around the world as if they're building clinics and hospitals and they're taking care of the orphans and they're doing various kind of nice charities and so forth ahabat fillah do not be fooled but listen if you have the ability if you have the arabic language you will listen to what they say because that is the only way or one of the few ways that we can get information about who these people really are is by listening to in fact what they say so if you have the arabic language listen and you will see you will soon come to know ahabat fillah i just watched a clip from them a various youth from Saudi Arabia various youth from Bahrain a very emotional energized fiery speech to 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 gain the the bravery and the courage and the energy they want something good they want islam but how do they propose to do it ahabat fillah for them it's a matter of their predecessors of following their their salaf the salaf of these people the habat fillah the ulama have made clear and as you can hear with your own ears if you listen is the khawarij the one of the first sects in islam no matter what these people say as we listen to their own uh propaganda as they it's been translated in various language their own uh template for what they believe and what they propose and their constitution so to speak or their declaration and their bayan and they say we're not takfiri and people will rise up to say we're takfiri we're not sururi we're not ikhwani we're not this we're not that but the ulama say ahabat fillah wallahi study islam the ulama qadiman what did they say what did the the previous ulama one of the qawaid fiqhiyah what did they say al ibra bi haqaiq ليس بمسميات the truth of something of of something of a substance is in the reality of what it is as a substance not in its name so someone can say i'm not takfiri i'm not ikhwani i'm not this i'm not that but what they really are is what they really are if i a habat fillah were to pour grape juice in this cup or in fact there's nothing in this cup as we see but if i say there's water in this cup of course you wouldn't believe me even if i called the air that is contained in this cup as water but in fact the substance that's in this cup and around this cup is air habat fillah so although someone claims something does not mean that they necessarily are that or are not that ahabat fillah the predecessors of these people as they said they said we are not they tore up their passports the bahraini was the speaker and the saudis were on his left and right and they tore their passports up along with other nationals from all over the world these are young men who are striving and sacrificing their lives but for what ahabat fillah as he said we will return to our our countries by the permission of allah but not with these and they ripped it up and they you know cursed the leaders and so forth and then they said but we will return with this and he pointed to his kalashnikov that he's going to come back bringing destruction death blood bloodshed in the land of the muslims killing muslims if you don't agree if you agree okay if you're willing to fight and be a part of what they believe but if you disagree with them even in the slightest of affair you'll find your head at the end of a bayonet 
This is the way and the methodology of the Khwarij. This is the methodology of some of the original sects in Islam, like the Azarika. Who were the Azarika, Ya Habatifillah? They were one of the sects of the Khwarij, one of the most brutal sects of the Khwarij. They were so extreme that, we, that they said that if we do not make Hijra, because they believed in not making, uh, that if you had to make Hijra, even though if they made Takfir of the leader in that land, it was no longer a believing land. They made Takfir of everyone there, and they made Takfir of themselves. They said, if we do not make Hijra, or until I make Hijra, I'm a Kafir. This shows you Dalal al Mubeen. Ahabita billah, wallahi, billahi, tillahi. You will find this saying that those are the predecessors of these groups. Boko Haram, Ash-Shabaab, ISIS, or ICE, or IS, or whatever they call them, the Islamic State. Ahabita billah, wallahi, don't deceive yourselves, and don't be deceived. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from the evil of extremists and the evil of people who throw away their religion and the evil of those people who believe in secularism. Ahabatifillah, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Al-Khawarij kilab al nar That the Khawarij, these people who make takfir of the Muslims who disagree with them or, di or that make takfir of them because... They're sinners doing major sins that they're the dogs of the hellfire. And the Prophet ﷺ also mentioned that if he were alive, he would fight and kill all of them. But they're extremists. And he said that there were people, and this was in the time of the Sahaba Majma'in, that he said, you will pray next to people. Your salat is not, you will feel your salat is nothing like com compared to their salat. And you will think that your fasting is nothing compared to their fasting. But they will enter the religion as an arrow enters its prey. Meaning it passes through its prey. That they will leave the religion. Some of the early scholars, they had ikhtilaf. In, in the later scholars as well about this. Are the Khawarij Muslim or not? To that extent. But most of the Salaf held the Khawarij most of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, majma'een, they held the, the Khawarij to be rebellious Muslims. Meaning that they were innovators, they were mubtadi'ah, innovators in the religion of Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Speaking of Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen without ilm, without full ilm, not adhering to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, interpreting the ayat how they want in order to kill, in order to spread, uh, spread fitna and facade around the earth, and in order to shed blood of the believers, first and foremost. Because where do these people fight? They're always fighting in Muslim lands. So don't be deceived. But of course they've made takfir and that's convenient. But do not be deceived. Ahabatifillah. By this type of deviance. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And may Allah wa ta'ala protect us from the shar of the extremists and the shar of the secularists and the shar of the khawarij and the shar of the rafidah and the shar of all those who want to kill Ahlul Sunnah and want to kill the Muslims and cause the Muslims harm and even want to hurt the Muslims even if it's with a thorn. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.